Good, honest, hard-working people, white collar, blue collar, doesn't matter what color shirt you have on. Good, honest, hard-working people continue, these are people of modest means, continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a fuck about them. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about you at all, at all, at all. Yeah. You know? And nobody seems to notice, nobody seems to care. That's what the owners count on, the fact that Americans will probably remain willfully ignorant of the big red, white, and blue dick that's being jammed up their assholes every day. Because the owners of this country know the truth. It's called the American dream, because you have to be asleep to believe it. Okay, what's the news? Um, well, let's talk, since we're talking a lot about Iran and everything, hmm. let's talk about this uh, assassination. Thing. I'll uh, read it from the this is from the London Telegram. Okay. <clears throat> Leaning out of hand, a motorcyclist attaches a magnetic explosive device, sometimes called a sticky bomb, to the door nearest the man he is trying to kill and then speeds off. Seconds later, the bomb is detonated by remote control. It is so sophisticated that only the target is killed. Those sitting next to him or in front or behind him escape with just cuts and bruises. So, right there you can tell this is like military High type of end weapon. military. Not a bunch of Arabs in a cave. Right. Um, uh, Wednesday's target was Mustafa Ahmadi Roshan. Uh, killed in his vehicle in front of a university campus in East Terrain. A chemist by training. He was a deputy director at Iran's main uranium enrichment plant at uh, Nantans. A role, a role given to him because of his expertise in gas separation technology, a technique vital to the enrichment process. He was the fifth Iran uh, nuclear scientist to be targeted in the past two years and the fourth to die. So out of five of them, he's the fourth to die. Wow. Uh, the only survivor was the biggest prize of all. In November 2004, uh, Faridon Abbasi, now the head of Iran's atomic energy organization was well trained enough to recognize what the clicking sound of the door in his in his car meant, oh. and he and his wife leapt leapt clear wow. just in time. He was so they, they tried to kill the fifth. They guy. tried to kill the fifth guy, but he knew what happened. He, so heard, he, the he heard the click. He said, "I'm out of here." Out of there. Uh, that same day, uh. on the other side of the Iranian capital, Majad Sarah Sarahri. One of Mr. Abbasi's colleagues was less fortunate, and he fell victim to another motorcycle assassin. Uh, Iranian officials were clicked to apportion blame on Wednesday for the latest attack, directing angry accusations at both the Israeli, Israeli intelligence service, Mossad, and uh, Americans. So, that's Israeli intelligence is Mossad. And uh, the next one gets into that too. This is uh, Paul Joseph Watson from Info InfoWars, um, saying it right here, the U.S.-backed terrorist group uh, Mushin, uh, Mushin Adin, Mujahideen, Ali, yeah, uh, which is M E K, in association with Israeli intelligence agency Mossad, were responsible for today's car bomb in Tehran, which killed Iranian nuclear scientists. Um, Richard Silverstein. Yeah, somebody. Just, somebody. The sources. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the source came from Israeli sources close to Jewish writer Richard Silverstein. So. You got Israeli intelligence and American intelligence, I'm sure probably British too, that are involved in all this. And uh, what, why do you think? I mean, uh, again, the whole... This a, is the, lot of, a lot of things. They could just be caught trying, trying to instigate it, Iran to take action against them. Well, why are they taking out all the these guys? Uh, well, is it because they keep trying to push it like, oh, they're about to make a nuke when in reality we know they're, they're probably alone. like eight, ten yeah. years away even yeah. if they tried. To make so, an actual nuclear device, yeah. You know, and you keep taking out the scientists. But they say several months, which would would bring us to like October. Mm -hmm. What to enrich it? That's what they but, were saying. But that's what I mean. I, I mean, think there's so much disinformation the, out there. They're, they're saying not they're, close. they're saying they're months. They're several months away. You know, they're probably months away from maybe having nuclear power for their for their people, but not for having nuclear weapons on bombs. Right. Uh, they're, they're not close to that. And real sources, intelligence sources, uh, say that. Um, so, you know, amazing that we're in other people's countries killing their scientists, presidents, whoever. And, you know, we're the good guys. We're the, we're the world police. You know, in, on other people's sovereign land, 
killing their presidents, politicians, anybody opens their mouth. Uh, and now our, our president can, can assassinate the citizens of America on suspicion of terrorism alone. I think you're a terrorist. So, you know, thought crime. So, the, the Iran I mean, stuff you, can't, you can't really make this stuff up, you know, just... But Iran, it, it, they're setting it up. It's gonna, it, this, is, this is where this it'll is start. part of the game. R Iran's going to be the thing. Iran and Syria are going to be the, the, the starting points of this uh, World War III. And we've been going into that a lot today. I mean, I had hoped, I didn't realize that it's, on, it's almost 2.30. I hope we, we have a lot of news that we got to cover. Hope we can get to the Rockefellers and stuff. But if not, we'll cover that again on tomorrow's mm -hmm. broadcast. But let's keep moving ahead. So uh, see what we got going on there. Yeah. Some more of the financial, some more uh, tyranny news there. Are we going to the war? Uh, Is the war yeah. still war news, right? Oh, yeah. If you want to read the financial. Yeah. Uh, well, this is, uh, this is uh, oh, one thing about the financial, uh, the war plan. This is from uh, from Finnegan, Cunning Finnegan Cunningham. It's a blog, uh, actually, off of InfoWars. Officially, America is now bankrupt financially, economically, politically, and morally. Its criminal aggression towards Iran is just one of many parts of a jigsaw that adds up to a clear and grotesque picture of what the United States of America now represents in the 21st century world. The numbers and pictures for those for these constituent parts of this odious jigsaw puzzle are well known. But what has become glaringly clear is just how integrated the official image of the U.S. now is. Bankrupt. Terminally in debt, mass poverty at record levels, rampant militarism, draconian curbs on civil liberties, government by the rich for the rich, and lately the reactionary, debased cat fight that, surpa that passes for political debate among Republican contenders for the presidency. So basically it's just a hit piece here on the truth <laughs> Again, we know that these uh, criminals ha are just trying to continue the bankruptcy and control the parties. So that's what they do. And Finian clearly exposes this here, especially when you get into the part where it's talking about cringing is the sight of super wealthy career politicians throwing sand in each other's eyes to scrabble up the pole for yet another further personal accumulation of capital. Yeah, this morning, did you see they showed all the president's homes today? No, on the on the that. on the controlled mainstream media morning shows, they you can Google this. Go on uh, YouTube and let's say you know where where do the presidential candidates live? And they live in like mansions. It's crazy. Well, Ron Paul has a modest home, but they really these people are like uber rich. And you're talking about uber, uber rich people um, that really have, have. I'm sorry, but they don't have the interests of uh, of. The, the people in heart. I yeah, mean, the average person they cannot relate to. They just don't even relate to them. They have no idea. I know because I have I have millionaires in my family. Literally, I mean, uh, I mean, I I I'll just say that I, a, a member of my family at one time was the president of Revlon. Okay, North uh, American, uh, Northeast you know American operations. So the man was a millionaire, totally different human being. You know. Totally different people. They look, they really are different. Yeah. I've, I mean, I've they literally are different. I've been at holiday, you know, they invite you and they want to sh just, it's just their show off. Show off. They always want to show they what, always, they, what they got, right? Right, exactly. Right. It's terrible. Oh, what do you think about and, this? And then if you need any assistance, they'll never help you, even if they're your own family. No. It's crazy, but it's okay. It's all right. That's what it is. It's an ideology. They became part of the system, part of this of this upper crusty Borg, you know? And at the expense of, see, it would be okay if it was just from, without collectivizing, but it really isn't. It's because the wealthier people of the upper, upper class, the CEO class, okay, these people, you know, it's out of control. The money these people make, it's just not even, it just, some countries don't make that much money. Um, and you just have to look at this system and they, Obama lied again. He said, well, we're going to punish you. We're not going to let you get those bonuses. And then he signs it that it had nothing to do with the bonuses that they were getting. It was future bonus. So they got their bonus anyway. It's just they mix around the words, and all they do is lie and do the exact opposite thing that they tell you. So if we're trying to, you know, if they're trying to protect liberty and freedom, you know that they're trying to oppress <laughs> and, and, and destroy. You know, that's what they're doing. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, our government is telling us that we have no rights anymore. 
if they feel that we that the, the the Constitution has provisions. It's called treason. Okay, and everybody is subject to treason. It's not just politicians. Treason would be from and and it's been happened. The Falcon and the Snowman comes to mind. That famous case, or the other uh, the other Israeli the the guy that was spying for Israel. That's wow. that's treason. That is espionage. It's treason. Okay. And there is constitutional provisions for treason, just like if some radical, uh, quote unquote, um, uh, redneck uh, wants to blow up uh, some building, and and says he hates the government because you know that's who they want you to believe is the threat. Um, then how does that? You, you see what I'm trying to, to to point out? How does that make any sense? You know, <laughs> well, if you watch TV, nothing makes sense on that. Nothing the, makes sense on that. The boob tube. It's not. It just doesn't. It just doesn't make any sense. The terrorists are. You know. Are, well, you know. They, they want you to believe that the terrorists are the the mainstream news. With the, <laughs> well, yeah. With the the, well, I I, and, I reported uh, that too. The terrorists are the Department of Homeland Security. Are the terrorists? They're the ones that are groping you at the airport in the name of in the name mm -hmm. of security. And all of these things to slave train you. Same thing with the education system. Charlotte Isabee went over this over and over again uh, in, in her work, uh, The Deliberate Dumbing Down of America. I mean, that's what it is. They want workers. They want obedient slaves who, can, who are going to go to, who is going to, you know, go to their, you know, stay in there. Not question. Not anything. question anything that's going on. And if you do, you are, oh my God, you're a, you're a radical, you're a threat, you're a... You know, you're, 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 I don't know. I mean, I just can't understand it. I, we want liberty. We want freedom. We want honesty. We don't want, we want, we want to stop tyranny. And this is who they're, this is who they're putting their guns at. They're not putting their guns at some guy in a cave or, or Al Qaeda. The CIA created Al Qaeda in 1979. On record. Osama bin Laden is Tim Osman. On record. He was an operative through the entire Iran Iraq war. Afghanistan, or the Af excuse Afghan. me, the Afghan. Um, so, so I'm, I get my wars mixed up. Sorry, I know what I'm talking about. Afghan and Russia. The Russia, yeah, the Soviet, right? Exactly. Unbelievable. I just get so astounded with all this stuff. But <sighs> let's. I, I, I want to switch it to the good side again. Switch gears to There's good a things. lot of good things going on. Also, we should mention before we end again about what's going on tomorrow with uh, Roger Roger Landry. Yes, again, Roger Landry will be joining us tomorrow. It's a good thing. Roger Landry. I mean, uh, I heard Alex and people, they were always talking about having like a social network. Because that really would be like really big. Again, you know, for people that are in the middle of wherever or you feel like, you know, uh, you wish you could find people that are interested in it like you, where's there like a social network? You know what I mean? Instead of like, uh, you know, there's really nowhere where you could say like, where do I meet people that know what's up. Well, that's what and, Roger's and, doing and here with the Roger's We, we doing. the People and, Network on this Facebook. This is something I've been thinking about for a long time, and this is great, and I'm really excited uh, for Roger to talk with us tomorrow yeah. and, and uh, be a part of that. Again, that hundreds of thousands of people that are waking, that, that aren't, you know, uh, worried about Tebow tomorrow, they, they're, those are the people you want to get the message to. Yeah. You know? It's amazing. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, you know, things are changing a lot, and, and uh, I'm, I'm very. You know, I have a lot of uh, hope that things will move. Uh, you know, further to like spreading this, but everybody really has to do something. We can't all. You know, you can't just expect it to happen. And and I and I we appreciate the viewership and all of that, and that and that you're you know you're getting this information. That's the point. But it's not the end of the of it. You know, it's it shouldn't be like oh let's watch that. Oh that was an interesting show. Great. And then go about your life until next week or whatever, or until you watch the next show. I mean, if you're just watching all this truth news and you're watching all of this information and you're drinking it all in and you're learning all of it, then well, what's the next step? Just to be aware so that you know when when they come to knock on your door what it means. You know, I mean, yeah. The next step. Is the next to step go is to and, go out and, and do awaken something. your neighbors. Exactly. To awaken exactly. your family member and neighbors and, and build a network like we're doing, like we're doing and, here. And lots of other people. There's lots of people that are never going to be heard that are in the woods somewhere with a bunch of people getting ready. I mean, there's, there's so many people getting ready. People are getting ready, believe me. Everybody... You, and you have to. And now, you see, this is how you know that we're, we're, there's some hot tyranny down the road. There's some trouble, and I get scared about this. 
when they're telling you that if you if you're a, buy more than a week's worth of food, you're a potential terrorist, 